Let me, let me ask Jim uh, about the point Mikey's raising, because Mikey's just saying something important I think people watching at home can relate to, which is, well, maybe the profile here is an overlap between someone who's deranged, but also sympathizes with enemies of Australia and the United States. Uh, and yet, now that the actual live conflict is over, how do you disentangle that? Because doesn't it matter a great deal? Uh, whether this was a person who was just basically a low-level criminal, Abby called him a thug, he may just be a, a violent criminal. Uh, isn't that very different uh, as a criminal who latched onto something uh, than a person who's actually an operational uh, ally of, of our enemies? No, that's right, Ari. I mean, it's a great point. And motives become mixed in the criminal mind. Now, look at this guy. He's got a criminal record. He was an accessory to murder of his, uh, his ex-wife and uh, burning her, maybe the children. Mm. He's had uh, sexual assault charges. And he's writing letters to the families of uh, Australian military uh, people who've been killed in uh, the Middle East. So he's doing both, criminal activity and extremist activity. He's appointed himself a cleric. He's not a Muslim cleric. He's uh, a phony. He's a, he wants to kill people. That's not what you know, Islam is calling to kill people at the cafe. So he's not a Muslim cleric. He's, he's a criminal in disguise, a wolf in the religious clothing, and he's, he's a mixed bag. But many of them are. Zarqawi, I use as an example in Iraq. He was a criminal all his life, and then before he went to al-Qaeda. Yeah. So that's not unusual. Many of these guys are like that as well. And to your point, Ari, do we study it? Yes, because we want to know who's next, who else could be stopped. Who's the next guy can do this? You know, absolutely, you're, you're right on point. And the discussion is on point. These guys, radicalized, like Dan said, on the web, they're going to lash out. It is a struggle inside greater Islam, but it's a small part of people engaged in this violence and radicalism. And, uh, you know, the Australians are trying to stop it. They're doing their raids. They're trying to do everything they can. And so is the world. You know, uh, I call it uh, a low-grade, low-grade world war because it's happening across the globe, across wow. the globe, from Canada to England to Australia.